Welcome to our tutorial on creating a multi-section solid. Let's start by creating a sketch. Activate the circle command. Let's drop a circle right about here. Let's apply some dimensions. 60 millimeters in diameter, OK. And let's exit the sketch. Activate the plane command. The plane type offset from plane. Reference. Right click and select the YZ plane. Reverse direction. And for our offset value, let's enter 70 millimeters, tab, and OK. Activate the sketch command now. Let's click on this plane. Let's create a second circle. Maybe about here. Let's dimension it at 25 millimeters in diameter. OK. Exit the sketch. Let's deselect everything. And now let's activate the multi section solid command. We'll select sketches 1, 2, and check the direction to make sure both of these arrows point in the same direction. Let's click Preview and click OK. Now let's create a spine curve. Sketch, XY plane. Activate the spline command. Let's place our spline right about here. Hit the escape key. Exit the sketch. Let's right click and delete. Deselect delete aggregated elements. And click OK. Now let's activate the multi section solid command again. Let's select this sketch and this sketch. Let's go to the Spine tab, click Preview. For our spine, we're going to select our spline. Click Preview again. You see the shape of our new multi section solid has changed considerably. Let's click OK. All right, we'll right click and delete. Uncheck Delete Aggregated Elements and click OK. I'm going to double click on Sketch 1. Let's select everything. Delete it. Activate the Rectangle command and create a rectangle. Exit the sketch. Now double click on Sketch 2. Let's delete that also. Activate the Rectangle command again. Let's create another rectangle. And let's exit the sketch. Deselect everything. Activate the Multi Section Solid command again. Select this sketch and this one. Click Preview. Once again, check the direction of the arrows. Now let's go to the Spine tab, select our spline, Preview, and OK. Let's right click and delete this. Uncheck Delete Aggregated Elements and click OK. Let's create one more section. Activate the Plane command. Offset it from this plane. Reverse the direction and click OK. Sketch. Activate this plane. Use the Rectangle command to create a square. Exit the sketch. Deselect everything. Activate the Multi Section Solid command again. Let's select the first, the second, and the last profile. We check for direction. 
and click Preview. Looks good, click OK. Now we're going to create a guide. Right click, delete, uncheck, delete aggregated elements, click OK. Next, let's create a plane that goes through these three points. Activate the plane command. We'll select our points, one, two, and three. Click OK. Now activate the sketch command and click on this plane. If I try to make a line from this point, there's nothing to snap to. Let's deselect the line. What I need to do is control select these three points and activate the Project 3D Element tool to convert them into construction geometry. Now activate the line command. I have points to snap to in creating my lines. Here's my second line. Let's control select both of the new lines and convert them to regular geometry. Now we'll exit the sketch. Activate the multi-section solid command again. We've got an error message, click OK. This line was pre-selected, that's why I got that error message. Let's cancel out of this, deselect everything, and activate the command again. We select this profile, this one, and this one. Under Guides, let's select the sketch I just created, click Preview. OK. Let's expand the tree and double click on Sketch 5. Delete the lines, and instead of lines, let's use the spline command. Click Escape when you're done your spline. Let's exit the sketch, and you see our multi-section solid has changed shape again. Now let's create another guide. But I need to do it before the multi-section solid appears in the specification tree, in case I don't want to delete it. Right-click on this plane, and define in work object. We have sketches 1, two, and four in no-show. Let's bring them back in. Right-click, hide show. And last one, right-click, hide show. Next, let's activate the line command. We're going to create a line between these two points and click OK. Line again, let's create another line. Click OK. In order to use this line as a guide, it needs to be one continuous line. In order to do that, we'll need the join command. Let's go to the wireframe and surface design workbench. We activate the join tool. We'll select this line and this line and click OK. Let's return to the part design workbench now. We'll be covering more on the join command later in this course. OK, right click, define in work object, double click, and under guide, let's select our line. OK, let's delete sketch 5 and preview. Click inside the guide selection field to activate it. Let's select our join and click Preview. As you see, the multi-section solid has changed shape again. Let's select the second guide, Preview.
OK. Let's right click and delete this multi section solid. Uncheck Delete Aggregated Elements and click OK. Now I'm going to put everything except sketches 1 and 2 in No Show. Shift Select, right click, Hide Show. Next, I'll double click on Sketch 2. I'll select it and press Delete. Let's activate the Circle command. We'll create a circle right about here. Exit the sketch. We get a warning message from Katia. We've got problems with Plane 3 and Vertex 7. I deleted a point we used to create Plane 3, but in our case it doesn't matter. Let's click OK. Let's activate the multi-section solid command again. I'll select this circle and this rectangle. Click Preview. We get a warning message. Katia tells us that the current coupling mode can't be applied. Click OK. Let's go to the Coupling tab and change the section's coupling type to Ratio. Now we click Preview. You see the solid is twisted. What I can do is right click and select Replace. Then choose this vertex and click Preview. Now the solid looks better, but there are still some problems. Basically, what's happened is that this function works best when you've got a corresponding number of segments in both profiles. Let's click OK. We again have the same warning, OK. Let's shift select and delete. Right click, delete. Now let's go to Sketch 2. Let's right click and bring Sketch 1 back. Normal, Normal 2 again. OK, in order to improve our solid, let's break this circle into four segments. Deselect everything. Now let's control select these four points. Click Project 3D Elements and Convert to Construction Geometry. Activate the Line command. Let's create a construction line between the points I just created and the center of the circle. OK, and we'll click outside to deselect everything. Let's activate the break command now. Select our circle, the line, the break tool again, the circle, the line. Break. Let's select this part of the circle and this part of the line. You see that this circle is broken in proportional segments to the sides of the rectangle. We could have broken it into equal segments as well. Let's exit the sketch. Double click on our multi section solid. Let's go to the coupling tab. Click in the selection field to activate it. Let's right click and bring back Sketch 2. Select this point and this vertex. And now we have a coupling line. Let's click Preview. Let's change the position of the closing point. Right click, select Replace. Oops, let's try it again. Right click, Replace. Let's select this one, Preview. OK, now our solid looks better. 
Activate the coupling selection field by clicking in it. Let's select this point and this vertex. Preview. Last one. Here. Preview. Okay. The solid is looking better now. Let's click OK. At this point, you probably have a pretty good understanding of how the multi-section solid command works. Now, for practical purposes, I would have created this solid by using surfaces in the wireframe and surface design workbench. We'd end up with a lot smoother a solid, actually. This concludes our tutorial on the multi-section solid command.